This the anthem. If you rock it with it, put your hands up. Yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah. This is Balmoral Heights Property Lim Brothers is back here with a freehold two beta unit. In the sky, if you feel me, yeah. Well renovated with quality finishings. Hands up in the sky, if you feel me. We're just one kilometer from ACS and SCGS, 10 minutes walk from the Newton MRT. And trust is what I stand on. Follow myself and John as we bring you on this home tour. Let's go! Okay, now let's share with you the facts of the property. We are right here in District 10, Belmoral Heights. It's actually a freehold apartment with an exclusive of only 44 units. It is a low-rise density, so if you are someone who enjoys the peace and quiet of a project, this is a unit that you wouldn't want to miss. So we are made up of one single block built up to 12 storeys high. Out of the 44 units, 10 units are one bathers, 10 units are two bathers, and the remaining are three bathers. And our unit is one of the rare ones with an unblocked view because of the low-rise building in front of us. So now let's pull up the floor plan and take a look at why our layout is so unique. So you can see that we have a private lift lobby, which is very rare for the projects in this area. But not just that, we have uh, two storage compartments. One is a dedicated storeroom, which is definitely essential for all of us. And we have another internal home shelter, which can double up as your helper space as well. There's the living, the dining area. The owners have reconfigured the kitchen to include a dry and wet kitchen. We have a second bedroom with a common bath, as well as a master bedroom with a master the buff. So as you can see, there is no balcony, which means that all of the 926 square feet space is packed internally for you to configure and utilize. Now this is a very common feature in the projects around here where balconies are not so popular for those that are built during the early 2000s. So now let's hand over to John who will take you through the home tour. Alright, so welcome into the unit itself. So where I am at, this is actually your private lift lobby. This is where the main door is at. So this is where you get your delivery or where you'll be welcoming your visitor. So right behind me, there are two large window panels. So I think that this is great for your ventilation as well as natural light that is coming into this private lift lobby itself. So what the owners have done for this whole full length of the wall is that they have done this full flat cabinet storage space. So this is where the original storeroom is at. So this is actually great for you to put your large items like your ladder or your vacuum cleaner and over on this other side here what the owners have actually done is convert this into your shoe cabinet so over here this is where the bomb shelter is at so what the owners have actually done is converted this into their helper's room and before we head on, I just want to point out to you that this has been done in line with the design team across to the whole house. And the owners have actually pumped in $70,000 worth of renovation into this house itself. General team of this house is actually a modern, classic, American kind of a design team. So you notice a lot of neutral kind of tone colors, largely beige, white, and a bit of brownish kind of tone. So coming over here, what I first noticed is these full height windows that actually run across the entire span of this living and dining room. This amount of light that's actually coming into this space. Over here, we have fitted in like a four-seater sofa set that has very comfortable distance to the TV itself. Coming right across to the TV console. So this is a feature wall. So lots of storage spaces that are done up for you. Right below here, even more storage space to put in all your necessities. Moving on, I just want to draw your attention to the ceiling. So what we have got here is this very nice cold lighting and notice the very lovely cornices that have been done up for you so this is in line with the modern american team that the owner really wanted for this house all right so coming right over here this is where the dining space if you notice this very nice mosaic table that is done this similar design that if you recognize this design actually is from crazy rich asian itself and what the owner has installed is this very lovely chandelier that actually elevate the entire view of this house itself and it's possible only because of the generous ceiling height of this unit And before we move on further, let's bring up the map. So this location is actually very interesting because we are at the start of the prestigious Bukit Timah area. Newton MRT is just a short 10 minutes stroll away. For your amenities, there is Balmoral Plaza, Novena Velocity and Square 2, as well as your Orchard Shopping area. 
For F&B, there's Newton Circus Food Centre and Adam Road Food Centre for your local delicacies. And in terms of major expressways, you'll be able to reach both CTE and PIE within 7 minutes. In terms of school, there are the highly popular schools such as ACS Junior, ACS Primary and SCGS Primary. They are all within 1km. Let's take a look at the kitchen area. So originally, this was a single kitchen by the developer, but the owners have actually went through the process of creating two separate kitchens, a dry kitchen and a wet kitchen. So we are looking at one of a kind, unique layout in the entire project. So let's take a look at the dry kitchen. So first and foremost, let's take a look at this high quality quartz top kitchen island, shaped and fashioned in a way that is not only just for function, but also for aesthetic. If you realise there's this edge here that is very nice. Now, if you take a look at the finishing, it is of a matte finish and if you know quartz material, they are non-porous, so it is always clean. The countertop also has six panels of pull-out shelves of uh, varied sizes for you to put all your appliance and for your storage needs. You also see that there are plenty of cabinetry. They've also fitted in high-end appliance. We have the Dedetrick steamer and an oven. So over here, the fridge space is generous. So if you decide to buy a fridge that is of a two-door, a bi-fold fridge, you definitely have more than ample space. The owner have also segregated the space visually by making sure that the flooring of the kitchen is of a different colour than the marble tiles in the living and the dining area. So in fact, they have also gone down to the details of having a copper strip that separates the two spaces. There is also a frameless tempered glass door that separates the wet kitchen and the dry kitchen. So if you have any heavy cooking, you can make sure that the smells are kept inside and it actually comes with big windows for ventilation which is very important. Owners have also went into the details of ensuring that the flooring of the dry and the wet kitchen, there is a height difference. Coming to the kitchen, you have a quartz countertop, you have cabinetries above the sink as well as below the sink. You have an option of either an induction cooking or a gas hot cooking. The owners have dedicated this space for a washer and a dryer, so you can also consider getting a single washer dryer, two in one, and you can actually have an add on space at the top for extra cabinetry space. Now before we go into the bedrooms, let's talk about pricing analysis. So at time of shoot, these are the asking prices of the freehold resale two bedders in the area. So the asking PSF is averaging at between 2.4 to 2.5k PSF with quantum averaging at 2.7 to 2.8 mil. If you were to take a look at the freehold two bedders, new condos in the area, these are the prices at the time of shoot. In terms of size, a lot of two bedders are below 800 square feet. Now why is this so? Is because with the cooling measures as well as the increasing land cost, developers are building smaller units so as to make the quantum more affordable. In terms of the asking PSF of the new condos around, they are already transacting at above 3,000 PSF in this area. If we were to look at the popular new launches recently, we have Amo Residences and Lentor Modern, they are already transacting at about 2.1 to 2.2k PSF. So back to our fully renovated 2 beta unit right here in D10 asking for a 2.29 mil with a fully usable internal space of 926 square feet. We think that this is a property you should not miss out. As we enter the common bedroom, first thing you'll notice is a high ceiling that's the same throughout the entire unit. In fact, they have also decked up with timber flooring. Now, if you know timber flooring will add value to every home. So you can sand down again and again to make sure that it is smooth. In fact, they have finished it with a walnut tone to give it that classic American look. The space itself is very generous. You can easily put a queen-size bed and still has sufficient space for a study table or even a wardrobe itself. So right here, there's a bay window that you can actually maximise it. So what you can do is actually to use it as part of a bed frame. So over here, the owners have used this room as a study area. So they have cleverly put up a table and adjusted the table heights, making full use of the bay window here. Moving into the common bathroom, it is also fitted with high quality fittings. The countertop itself, again, it is a quartz top. The basin is Hans Grower. The WC itself, is of American standard. In fact, the shower screen itself is made of tempered frameless glass. Now let's pass it over to John to cover the last portion of the house.
All right, so coming into this master bedroom itself, so what I noticed is, of course, the windows, it stretches from the living room all the way across to this master bedroom. So, of course, a lot of natural lighting that is going to come in. What we have got fitted right here is a queen size bed. Definitely, you can go up to a king size or even a European king size as well. This is timber flooring of the walnut finishes, which is similar to the common bedroom. And looking at the ceiling, because of the generous ceiling height, you once again, you get this very nice feature lighting and with the cove lighting and also notice the final details that have been done to the cornices this requires a lot of workmanship so this is very nicely done up in tune with the entire design team of the whole house and right over here we have got this bay window so let's bring up the 3d rendering of the possible storage spaces that you can actually put on top of this bay window so that you can actually utilize this space very efficiently and right across this way you get your five panel floor to ceiling wardrobe space this is also done in a very neutral beige stone that is similar across to the design that you get in the living room so what i really like about this master bedroom is that the entrance has been changed out to a sliding timber door with copper linings which doubles up as a very lovely backdrop when it is closed coming in here you can notice the luxurious touch that has been put in place for the master so we have got marble flooring that runs across the entire flooring all the way up to the wall and of course the marble wall tiles are of the glossy nature and what the owners have done for the flooring these are of the matte finishes right behind me we have got three panels of mirror space behind them of course we've got storage space for your toiletries we've got his and her sink as well Hans Grohe brand and below we've got even more cabinetries for your storage needs we also have got an American Standard WC and over here on my right side, this is where the shower area is at. We've got the rain shower of course and the handheld shower. Most importantly, we've got two huge windows to dispel off the moisture after you take your bath. Alright, so before we end off this home tour, let me share with you what's coming up in this area. So over at Novina, if you are to look at the URA master plan, the Health City is already taking shape. And so this is an integrated and sustainable urban development and the Health City will incorporate many vibrant and outstanding features. And over at Orchard, URA has got plans to transform this entire shopping belt into a more vibrant and lifestyle destination. So pulling up the URA master plan, what we notice is that there are nearby land plots which are zoned residential and they are yet to be developed. What this means for consumers is that as new launches will always drive and set new benchmark prices, this is important for the real estate properties here as it signifies growth and appreciation within this area. Alright, so thank you for staying with us till the end of this home tour. If you are looking for a freehold two-bedder unit in the Balmoral area with $70,000 of renovation pumping for you, as well as quality fittings that have been installed. And we are close to schools such as ACS, SEGS, right in between Newton MRT and Stevens MRT. Now, this is a place with potential capital appreciation. So if you are keen for a physical viewing, feel free to reach out to the listing managers. Our contact numbers are down below. Do remember to hit our like and subscribe button on our Property Lim Brothers YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Do follow our socials right there as well. My name is John. I'm Zoe. Property, Property Lim Brothers, Brothers, always happy, happy to, to show you the place. place. <laughs> yeah, I felt it's coming, it's coming. Oh, I didn't foresee it to do a U turn. Okay, we need to let it go, right? Ceiling, flooring, wardrobe, bed. Testing one, two, three. Property Lane Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Okay, yeah. Lovely, it's Yay!